Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Uh, and welcome to Earth Month. Um, <clears throat> we're, we're doing this presentation a little differently than we have in the past. Um, I'm very happy to be with you today uh, in my role as the chair of the Transportation and Environment Committee. And I'm so glad to be joined by um, uh, our secretary, Director uh, Adam Ortiz of DEP, and ACAO um, Adriana Hochberg, both of whom have brought tremendous uh, new talent to this county, and I'm really looking forward to rolling up my sleeves, as I know all of uh, the council is, and working with them to address all the pressing uh, environmental issues facing the county. Um, this month is really special to me. 30 years ago, I received a um, phone call that changed my life uh, when I was working on an environmental campaign out in the Midwest, and I got a phone call asking me to move to the D.C. area to work to strengthen the Clean Air Act at the federal level. And I know how lucky I am to be 30 years later still working to improve our environment every single day and actually getting paid for it, more than the 16000 I was getting paid back then. Um, I think it's important to so many people in the room because um, we wish we had made so much more progress in the, la in the last 30 years. We've made progress, but not nearly enough. We wish these issues weren't as urgent as they are right now. We wish we weren't confronted with threats at global scale, like climate change, and nationally. And we wish we had a greater partnership at the federal level, where we have an EPA that's led by a former uh, oil company executive and a chemical company executive and an interior nominee uh, waiting to be uh, uh, confirmed who's another former um, oil company executive. We need a partner at the federal level um, because the federal government is doing everything they can to roll back many protections we've all counted on for, for many decades. But that being said, that just makes the work we're doing here in Montgomery County all the more important, that Montgomery County has to be an environmental leader of this nation and set the tone for the other counties in Maryland and the other jurisdictions all over the country. And we have the team to do that right here in front of you and in the audience. So I'm so excited to be recognizing today so many of our environmental advocates that make Montgomery County a great place to live because the public support and the awareness that they create allows the council and the county executive to move the great policies that Montgomery County has been known for for many years. Um, so with that, happy Earth Month. Let me turn it over to our director. Thank you, Mr. Chairman um, and Madam President. It's a tremendous uh, privilege to be in this position in front of all of you today. I'm humbled um, because the work for, on two scores, one is the work is so great ahead of us but our coalition could not be stronger. Um, in this audience today, we have representatives from the faith community, from the nonprofit community, um, colleagues from other departments, um, our own team, rank and file. We have all hands on deck. And although the task is great before us, as the Amish say, many hands make light work. So it's a tremendous privilege of mine on behalf of the um, Elrich administration uh, to be part of this proclamation and to honor the team that's going to make a difference and make Montgomery County the beacon of environmental sustainability and change nationwide. Thank you. Ms. Thank you so much. Since I'm the shortest, I think I'll just say a few words. <laughs> um, uh, dear neighbors, uh, we are fortunate uh, to share this small slice of the earth that we call Montgomery County. And Earth Month is an opportunity for us to work together um, to collectively make our home uh, better. We know that there are some, um, in some measures, we are falling short uh, of where we need to be um, with regards to uh, greenhouse gas emissions, for example. Uh, we are not going uh, where we'd like to go in terms of the trends. Uh, and I hope that uh, motivate, uh, motivates us all to work together even a little bit harder so that we can improve our little slice of the earth and make our share towards the, the goals that the whole earth uh, needs to achieve. We know we have 12 years or less um, according to the IPCC. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, 
I want to make sure we recognize, before we recognize all the um, advocates that are here today, we have uh, Jim Poor here, the chief for Montgomery Parks, uh, Facil Parks Facilities Management Division, who will receive a proclamation as well. Um, Amanda Aparicio from the Mon Montgomery Parks Facilities Management Division. David Dice is here, our director of the Department of General Services. Uh, Eric Kaufman, I saw somewhere from the Department of General Services, who's done fantastic work on our on our uh, climate solutions, and Emil Wolan, and the Deputy Director of the Department of Transportation, is here as well. Thank you for all your good work advancing our environmental policies, gentlemen. Um, I think we do the proclamation first, right? Can you join me in reading this? Um, okay. Whereas, we have a proclamation for all our environmental leaders, and I'll probably ask up uh, Jeff from 350 and Kit from Stormwater Partners to receive this on behalf of the environmental community, and then we have a number of people getting citations as well. So here's what it says. Whereas 2019 will mark the 20, 49th anniversary of celebrating April as Earth Month, which brings attention to the devoted worldwide efforts to protect air, water, and land in a sustainable way, and? Whereas Montgomery County embraces environmental stewardship, as a fundamental responsibility to preserve and sustain our planet and has been a longtime leader in emphasizing this year's official Earth Month theme of protect our species and whereas Montgomery County seeks to set marks for limiting pollution that starts locally and might end up in the Chesapeake Bay protecting open space and needed natural use of land through our agricultural reserve creating programs that could lead to our aim for zero waste and relying more on vehicles that do not rely on fossil fuels and? Whereas the Montgomery County's Department of Environmental Protection leads the active efforts of many other county departments and agencies to celebrate Earth Month as an annual reminder of the constant need for environmental activism, stewardship commitments, and sustainability efforts and? Whereas it is more important than ever to act locally and cooperate internationally to protect and conserve our natural resources for future generations. Now, therefore, do we, Mark Elrich as County Executive, Nancy Navarro as County Council President, and Tom Hucker as County Council Member, hereby proclaim April 2019, Earth Month in Montgomery County. We encourage all residents to continue to do their part to preserve and sustain our county's natural resources and be responsible to protect our earth. Terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so let me call up uh, David Sears from the Montgomery County Sierra Club. Where did David go? Walter Weiss from the MC Faith Climate Alliance. Wendy Howard from One Montgomery Green. I know I saw Wendy. Joyce Briner from Poolsville Green. Adam Roberts from Bethesda Green. Tom Dio from Montgomery County Green Bank, Rosemary, Rosemary Sabatino from the Montgomery County Green Bank, Julia Craighill from Insight Consulting, Smita Thomas from Energy Shrink, Jessa Coleman from Pace Financial Servicing, Joelle Novi, Interfaith Power and Light, Carl Held, Montgomery County Chapter of the Climate and Mobilization, Corinne Stevens from Friends of Sligo Creek, the Stormwater Partners Network, we have Caitlin Wall and Eliza Kava, Keith Brooks from the Water Quality Advisory Group, and Caitlin Wall also from Potomac Conservancy. Okay, did you have your own list too? <laughs> I heard you had a list. Uh, we also are delighted to have uh, Tina Rouse from Friends of Cabin John Creek, Corinne Stevens from Friends of Sligo Creek, for, uh, Sylvia Tognetti from Friends of Ten Mile Creek, uh, Sarah Morse from the Little Falls Alliance, Tracy Rouleau from the Muddy Branch Alliance, Jeannie Braha from the Rock Creek Conservancy, uh, and Keith Brooks. Okay, is that everybody? Is anybody expecting a citation that didn't get called? Come on up. Yes, 
Jessica? Oh, yes. I know Joelle. Yep. And we don't have a child side. Y'all should come on in and make two rows, please. Carl? Right here. All the people in the back. I need some direction. Corinne? I'll take it for Okay. Keith Brooks? Tina Rouse, Sarah Morris, oh, Jeannie Braha, Walter Weiss, I know I saw Walter yeah. behind me, <laughs> I know I saw Wendy, oh, Wendy's right here, right here. Okay. next to you, thank you sir, okay, David? No. Lawrence, who's missing? One? Caroline? I saw Caroline. Come on. Sorry. Chris Avery from our Energy and Air Quality Advisory Committee. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Karen Dory, Maryland LCV. Thanks for being here, Karen. Jeff? Thanks for coming. Okay. Did I miss Michael? All right. Okay. Where's David? Come over. Come on, come on up. And Kit, come on up. Okay, Stormwater Partners and Sierra Club. How about you guys receive the proclamations from the director and myself? What are we doing with the photo here? Yeah. Good. Oh, sorry. We want to let you say a few words first. My bad. We do? Yes. <laughs> David's prepared. David's prepared. Go ahead. Imagine April is Earth Month. And. I think I heard Adriana say we have 12 more years. So maybe we should have 12 times 12. What's that? Can somebody do the math for me? 100, 144 Earth months uh, and do our best to address climate change during that, during that uh, 12 year period. Um, climate change clearly is the number one issue for Sierra Club and I imagine for most of you in the audience and we look forward to working with Adam Ortiz, Tom Hucker, the rest of the council, the rest of the Elrich administration in moving forward briskly to address climate change. Thank you very much. We are incredibly lucky in Montgomery County. You can hear me. We, we're really lucky here because there are so many people with so much creativity, so much drive, so much intelligence, and understanding of how, in what deep doo-doo we are currently in. Um, I can say that on the television. <laughs> that we can together make this happen. Uh, it's quite clear in Montgomery County that we, ha we can't look anywhere else to solve our problems. We have to do them ourselves. Uh, we've been doing this uh, in stormwater related work over the last years, working collaboratively with the county and with a huge array of activists all over the county. Uh, I know that we can continue to do that and even better than we've been doing it over the next years. But it ain't going to be easy, uh, and it's going to take all of our intelligence and energy and drive to do it. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Kit. Jeff, did you have anything to add? You were on the list. Did you have anything to add? You're good? Okay. All right. Thank you. You're on.